can see them? Yeah. Oh my Dolphins at night time. Oh, that is so cool. Tonight, variable winds less than 10 knots, becoming east to southeast. Seas 2 to 4 feet. Friday, south to southeast winds 5 to 10 knots. It's blowing like three knots, and it's super be calm. And there are dolphins around us just playing around the boat. It's just beautiful. So we have the spare lights on <laughs> and the underwater lights on. I just love the light. Oh gosh. You beautiful beast. <laughs> There's so many of them. Nice actually to finally be still because we've been having the crap kicked out of us for the last two days. So. This lull was quite well forecast. Um, the next 24 hours or so is going to be very light. And so, yeah, we're just hanging out and chilling and getting some rest, getting some sleep, warming up our fingers, and apparently watching dolphins swim around. Somehow though, even though there's only four knots of wind and we just have the main up because the Genoa is just like flapping around and causing all sorts of nonsense. We're only moving through the water at about half a knot to maybe three quarters of a knot and the autopilot is actually able to steer somehow and hold us on course, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. The wind fit is great when it's consistent wind. But yep. As soon as it kind of fluctuates, it yeah. doesn't keep up. So. It, it, yeah, when, it's, when the wind's consistent, it, it works well. And then when it goes like, lull and then up to 16 knots mm -hmm. and then down to three and up to 16 it just it has a hard time holding course and we're just letting the uh the hydraulic one kind of keep us pointed in the right direction the and part, yeah. hopefully the wind will fill in soon i mean we're still drifting forward look at the sargasm go by This is probably the most magical day I've ever had on the boat. I feel like every time that we have really good experiences is when we're become. I would agree. Some Somewhere around here, a little bit south of here, three years ago when we were sailing south, we were becalmed and that's when we swam with dolphins. Yeah. The really cool part about being this far north is that the sun rises and the sun sets are much longer. Down in the Caribbean you get maybe 15, 20 minutes, but here it's like an hour and a half of just orange and blue. The color is the inside of our boat. and. Um, yeah, it's cold, but it's really beautiful. It's so, it's so gorgeous out here. And now we're uh, watching the sunrise. Hopefully the wind will fill in a little bit, but it's been forecast to be pretty light for all of today, mm -hmm. about 24 hours while the wind shifts around to the south. So we might just be hanging out here and enjoying the, uh, the beauty of it all. Yeah, not complaining. I think maybe they're trying to give us a push. We've never had dolphins hang out at the stern before, but uh, they're they're all of them are like right on our stern, and they I think they're like they're giving us a push. They're creating a stern wave for us, or maybe they're trying to eat whatever was underneath their boat. One of the two. You think it's the same flock as this one? Oh, morning? it's got to be. They look they look the same, and there's about as many. They're it's, all making that noise all together. It's so yeah, cute. Yeah. 
and they're blowing air bubbles out of their little their little blowholes. Today is day seven of our passage and we are about 100 miles south of Cape Hatteras so <laughs> it is like blowing less than 10 knots. We are moving at about three knots with the help of a current so not much. Uh, we're trying to have the spinnaker out but it's not really doing much for us. It's just, it's just flopping around. Yeah, I think it's the waves that are kind of screwing us up because we do have seven to eight knots of uh, true wind from behind. These really choppy waves are just causing the boat to slam back and forth, so we can't really gain, gain any momentum. It's just enough to sort of keep the spinnaker full when we're not bobbing back and forth. But the wind's supposed to fill in the next two to three hours, and then it's supposed to be like 10 to 15, gusting a 20 downwind. So we should, we should have a nice clean run to Hatteras once it fills in, but it just hasn't quite filled in yet. Choppy little waves are just not allowing us to do anything. And it was just making the spinnaker bounce and luff too much. I didn't want to rip it, so it's down for now. Going back to bed until the wind fills in. <laughs> good idea. Since we are absolutely becalmed right now, I figured this would be a good time to talk about what we do when there's no wind. Uh, since you guys know that we don't use our motor to push through uh, becalmed sections. In a nutshell, it's basically the same thing as if we're anchored. Except that we are in the middle of the ocean. We sleep, we eat, we watch movies, I get some work done, and we do basically everything we would do at anchor, except that we can't go to shore. And we also take turn, obviously since we are in the middle of the water, to watch for boats and to make sure that we're still on course for the most part and to watch for wind. And speaking of wind, it looks like we're gonna get some right now because check out this cloud behind me. That, ladies and gentlemen, is rain coming and hopefully that rain will come with wind. Then is up on deck getting the spinnaker down. Then, oh! And we're gonna hoist the main. When that wind shift comes, it's supposed to be out of the south instead of the north, so. Shouldn't be too bad, actually, but yeah, looks like we might get wet. We have no idea how much wind that little line squall, that front behind us is going to bring. Uh, usually the beginning edges is like maybe 20 to 25 knots, so we already put in our second reef 
And um, once it hits, we'll probably roll out some Genoa and we'll start busting downwind. It was good to have a calm day, but I'm ready to sail again. Come on. Come on. Well, I'm pretty sure that this low pressure coming in behind us is going to bring some southerly wind. We've set our sails up for kind of a downwind run and uh, I'm just going to kind of keep steering while we're calm and as soon as the wind picks up or the rain starts, I'll hit auto and crawl down below and hopefully stay dry. Got to keep an eye out though, we've got three ships around us so we do need to keep an eye on those guys. Well, good thing we have the and truck loader inside <laughs> yeah. and we can do all that inside. Yeah, it's awesome <laughs> to have uh, it's awesome to have a screen and all the electronics inside too so we can keep an eye on everything from down below where it's dry and warm. Now we just hang on inside. <laughs> what happened to our quesadilla, Mr. Chef? We got all stuck to the bottom of the pan. We need a new nonstick. <laughs> and I got all ripped when I tried to flip it. It'd be like a quesadilla salad. You know, like taco salad? We got some leftover rice from yesterday, so I'm just gonna like throw that in there, maybe chop it all up. <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh well, not all my meals look good. They all taste good. Aw. Ooh, extra points for Kika. <laughs> Just a bunch of melted cheese, rice, tomato, onion, sausage, and then some quesadilla bread that got crispy before. You want it? It's all steamy. Yeah. This might not look the best, but... It's gonna taste delicious. I think it's gonna taste so good. And we've got, uh, we've got radar and AIS running on the iPad, so we can kind of keep an eye on what's going on outside with these ships coming our way. And, and uh, we're about to watch a movie. So. We'll still poke our heads out every 15 minutes or so just to make sure there's no little fishing boats out there or something. But it's nice to be able to keep an eye on everything from down below. Yeah. I'm going to end this right here. But comment below if you guys recognize what movie this is. <laughs> I'm not going to say what it is. But it's a pretty fun movie. Neither am I, because it'll revoke my main card. <laughs> Don't say that, that's giving a hint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just pooped. <laughs> he pooped like in the light. 